All right, today we've got a swarm of honeybees we're gonna be trying to catch. Uh, well, not trying to catch, we're gonna catch them. Um, it's a good size swarm, I don't know. Probably five, six pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. And the best part about it is it's only seven feet off the ground. So I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'll show you how I catch the ones close to the ground. And now we can see the the bees are at the entrance. They're fanning, spreading the, the pheromone, telling the rest of the colony that uh, this looks like a suitable place to live. And uh, eventually those bees that flew back up to the branch will uh, catch that pheromone and they'll be down here. Um, if they end up balling up again, in a big clod, I'll probably just, uh, you know, take a, a small cup or bowl and scrape those off and then dump them into this hive. But uh, that's just the way I prefer to do it because, I mean, you could do it with a, a bed sheet and everything, but you end up scraping them, dropping them, uh, waiting for them to go in, hoping that the queen goes in, because if the queen goes in, everybody will follow her. Uh, so you're kind of at the mercy of her with, uh, with doing it this way. More than likely the queen is going to be in the uh, the middle of that cluster and whenever you start knocking it down and put the the majority of that into that hive um, you're going to pretty much have her so the rest of the bees go where the queen goes and they'll end up going right in there with her um, but we'll give this i don't know i'll give it 10 or 15 minutes and pick it back on and let you know where uh, where we stand and I'll probably pop that lid open, give them just a little bit of smoke, and uh, put those, uh, those frames back in place that I took out earlier. All right, the bees that's found their way into the hive uh, haven't cared to leave, so uh, it makes me believe the queen's in there and we're in good shape as far as that goes. But you can see, uh, you know, maybe a tenth of the bees went back up on that branch um, and it's probably they're just smelling the uh, residual pheromones that the swarm had left on there. Um, so just to speed things along, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna brush them all off into the air. And hopefully when they get a little bit lower and um, you know, flying around, they'll smell that uh, pheromone that the other bees are putting out and they'll actually find the hive.
I decided to smoke that branch to try to kill any uh, residual pheromone odor that may be up there. Let's take a look around the other side. Let's see if it looks like anything has caught the scent. Started moving in. There's a few up top. They might be a little confused. Uh, like I said, nothing is leaving so that makes me think that uh, I definitely have the queen uh, and then you know maybe all these ones flying around we give them a minute or two and they'll uh, they'll catch wind of this and head down if not I'll do that a time or two more and uh, see what I end up with after that all right um, I think it's pretty much perfect. I mean, you can hear the roar of those bees fanning that pheromone out, uh, calling their, I guess you could call them their sisters, into the hive. Um, as you can see, there's a few bees moving uh, you know, into the entrance. If you take a step back, it's hard to see, but uh, you can see bees flying uh, in the direction of the hive. The ones that were on top have done uh, made their way down into the entrance and there are very 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 few on the branch uh, clustered back up there's there's a handful um, what I'll end up doing is I'll probably maybe knock them down one more time um, give them a chance to to go in on their own and if that doesn't work uh, I mean just looking at it it looks like it's just gonna be about a, a baseball size uh, group of bees so I can either um, give them a good spritz with some sugar water, make it where they can't fly, knock them off in my hand and set them on the, the stoop of the hive, or I can leave them and uh, they could either go back to their mother hive or um, yeah, they won't make it on their own so they would die from exposure. But uh, that would be your two options um, with a little bit like that. Like I said, this is, uh, this is the way I will uh, catch a swarm if I'm able to um, get to it relatively easily. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's high in the tree and um, yeah, I can't guarantee that I knock 90% of the bees into the box, then yeah, I'll do the, the bed sheet method. Um, and I know there'll be a lot of people who will disagree with this, uh, the way that I do this, but uh, I'm not your uh, average everyday uh, beekeeper I try new stuff from time to time um, I mean you can see I build my own stuff this is the oak hive uh, can't really buy those anywhere and most people would think it was overkill and um, the wrong thing to do as well but I think it's it's uh, second or third year uh, holding up really well um, but uh, that's how uh, that's how I catch them and it works well for me um, you know any any comments any suggestions Anything like that, feel free to uh, leave those below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe.